everyone and welcome to Crazy Town. I am your mayor minister, Danielle K. Anderson, and here we talk about spirituality, self-improvement, and stuff I like. In this Cardamancy video, we are closing the deck with the jokers. There are a few different ways of using jokers in a reading, and I'll be sharing the methods I use, and you can use any or all of these based on your preferences, circumstances, or the type of deck you have. First, let's cover what jokers are. Most modern playing decks will have two jokers, and essentially they are wild cards. In some games, for example, they can stand in for any other card, kind of like a blank tile in Scrabble. Or they can rank the highest and beat every other card, and these are often called trump cards. So, how do we use this information in a cardamancy reading? Let's take a look at the cards. Jokers in their appearance can take on many different forms. Uh, more often than not, though, they take on the traditional form of a court jester. And I don't think that's by mistake. History will show that the fool or the court jester was not just some idiot people rolled out to make fun of. In fact, their job was to be an all-around entertainer, a musician, a dancer, acrobat, a juggler, magician, not just a comedian, but a satirist, a storyteller, and even one who brought the news of the day. So needless to say, this was a very versatile person and a vital member of the court. I did cover a lot about jokers and symbolism way back in episode two. So if you haven't seen that or you need a refresher, click the card at the top right corner of the screen and you'll learn more. So in this deck, the jokers are practically identical, except that one is black and white and the other is fully colored. This is important when reading both jokers, uh, which is my preferred method. In this instance, the black and white joker is what I liken to the fool in tarot, and sometimes I call it the apprentice. This card represents things like potential, naivete, adventure, youthful ambition, beginning a self-guided journey, or taking up some new study. The more colorful joker, on the other hand, I call the master, and it is the one more closely related to the magician or the juggler in tarot. This is the fool at the end of the journey. He's clever, has a clear understanding of the world around him, and realized their potential. This person can now teach others what they've learned with confidence and with wisdom. Okay, so what if you decide, eh, that's too complex, or my deck's jokers look pretty much the same. How, how do I know the difference? Well, that's where the second method comes in. One joker is actually quite sufficient, so just pick one. In this method, the single joker is more of a trickster, and it can be a friend or a foe. It can be someone or something not quite what they seem. When you see it in a reading, expect the unexpected. Sometimes it's just a simple twist that makes your story more interesting, and sometimes it's just plain bad news. The third way of using a joker is, well, basically not at all. They are really nice to have and can tell a lot, but you don't need them. Especially when you're first starting out, they can be pretty intimidating for some people. The simplest three card readings have well over 20,000 possible outcomes, even without a single joker. So it's ultimately up to you. There you have it, dear citizens, all 54 cards completed. I hope this information is helpful to you. If so, give the video a thumbs up and feel free to let me know what you think in the comments section down below. This has been so much fun. But like I said in the last video, the series will continue and there's much more in store, cardamancy or otherwise, for the channel. So if this is your first time, welcome again. Become a citizen of Crazy Town by subscribing and click the bell icon to be notified when the next video comes out. And to get caught up on the series, just click right here. Check out the description below to find out how to get a reading from me and to connect with me on all the social medias. I will see you next time in the cards. I think that's it. I think that's the take. Oh my gosh, I hope that's the take.